Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and today's a, and today leads to a Bonacle review, and today's of which is on uh, the three of the uh, Bonacle Stars sets from 2010, and also probably my last Bonacle Throwback Thursday. That we're gonna put. To what is next for that? Well, just hang on till next next Throwback Thursday, and you'll see. So. Now, on the front of the canisters, there's, you see a picture of the set that comes within, Bonacle logo in white, and the name and the stars logo, and see the Kenohi how in the background, and collect the golden Bonacle, which they mean collect the golden Bonacle armor, of course, and it has a, the gold piece that comes within then Bonacle.com logo, logo, and then the age group and set number and the amount of pieces. On the back of each one you see just the uh, golden Tahu and also and the logo, bio code, how to put it back in the canister, the warnings, and of course all you can get just golden Tahu and also all the stars advertised and one highlight for the one in the canister showing where the armor piece goes to. And although for the, and for the lids of which, which the top part does have the scroll symbol key part in the uh, finale storyline, of course, in these little things around it. And if you want. And now if you want to how large these canisters are is compared to a like a, a gory canister or Apatorian a gory canister and a Victorian Legends canister. As you see a little bit smaller than those and half the size of them as well. And of course these canisters were also reused with Hero Factory. Well until Savage Planet in summer 2011, of course. And now onto the manuals. On the front of each one is the same picture that was on the front of the box or canister. Flip them back. First time of this advertisement with the evil wing kid, which they did until 2013. Kind of insane how that is. After Lego Club, after the Lego Ben 10 Alien Force uh, construction sets, which a lot of people kind of uh, liked, hated, kind of thing. Which also, which I'll also consider doing for a throwback Thursday, but whatever. Then pieces that come with it in the last step, and the first half of which a promotional poster with all the stars together, and also same thing and showing which where the golden piece goes on to, of course. First of which is Takanuva, which is an alright kind of one, and whereas from the ground up, that the stars were the only ones to ever use these kind of foot pieces, well, until a couple of villain characters in Hero Factory also used them, but at least, do well, they do show up a few times in the stars range, but in different colors, of course, and for Takanuva in particular, he's the first one to use these kind of Avatar and limb pieces in white, and only time that ever happened. And as for the torso piece, well, first off, the whole build of which just the same as the Agorian Avatarans, but with a few extra bits added on to them. So the torso piece, same as that, and but except this time around, covered with a new armor piece which was exclusive to the stars line
And if you turn this way, then it's a like tiki head, of course, and connected with one bit to it. And as for the arms, same thing, but also with the Toa Nuva shoulder plates in white, which we haven't seen for quite some time, all the but they get in the way of the arm articulation, of course. And the uh, hand and his main weapons, which are probably to represent his uh, light spears, of course, which the original 2003 version, of course, had. And as for the head of which, same headpiece as the Apatoran, of course. So he and Tahu only sets to reuse these and the mask of which is the exact same from uh 2003 makutas and even says 2002 lego on it of course but also it's much brighter silver color than that was this, uh, there. and from the back a little exposure to him and for his golden piece which is Another one of those armor pieces, but in gold. And of course, it adds to gold and Tahu, of course. Although I think should have been some more gold to him. And to, of course, represent the original version, but although I think would have been a little too much. But although I think this kind of, I think he's fine as is. Although this color scheme kind of feels like Mystica Takanuva, of course. Next to which is Gresh. Oh, which is kind of interesting with one. Even though he and Scrawl were already done a year or the year prior, but if you wonder why they were there, well, I guess they were probably there to commemorate all the years of Bonacle, of course. And as for the limbs, both of which same reused from Tarduk and the Agori line the, a year prior, and same foot pieces as some of them, but in light green. And also get for the first and only time of this torso piece in dark green, and also these armor unique armor pieces, kind of similar to that of Vastus's with uh, fangs to them, but Vastus's were much larger and had snakes to them, which were kind of cool and had some scaling texture in them. And as for his weapons, same as from his 2009 Kaltorian version, but in silver, kind of cool. And although, and if you wonder, can you like put it in shield version? Yes, you can, like the other version, although it, like this, just quite large for him. I mean, it kind of doesn't work well. And as for the helmet, same, just the same from the uh, 2009 Glatorian version of him, but in all light green rather than die cast coloring. So, as for a little comparison, is compared to the 2009 Glatorian version here. See, some of the same features, but except that the same blades, but in different coloring. And of course, same helmet, but in one color rather than multiples. And also has light green, or I mean, yellow Glatorian headpiece rather than trans orange kind. Although I think trans orange also should have been on him, but. Oh, well, yellow's kind is fine, indicating good and evil, oh, of course. And also, it doesn't have the thorax launch with him, but although the spiky features do kind of work well for each other. At least he does good prior to the old version. And as for his gold piece, same as Takanuva, as well as Paraka's where it also adds to Tahu, but whereas Scrawl and Rakshi had different kinds. So, although if you were to put it rather than having loose on, you can actually put it on this handpiece and still resemble the Thornax launcher. 
her of that. And lastly, the flagship character of the Bonacle Stars and Bonacle in general, Tahu. Yeah, of which probably the, one of the most interesting of the Stars sets. So, like some good recolors to him, like the regular foot pieces in light red. Nice. And also, same limb pieces as with Samad from the uh, uh, Varanus V7 set had. And of course, the newer armor pieces, but in bright red and orange for that. And of course, Akar's flame sword piece, but a little die cat die coloring to it. And of what pretty much sticks out like a sore thumb is the silver uh, Toa Nuva uh, shoulder bit to it, acting as a sword's hilt. Although orange would have been much better for that to blend in with the color scheme, of course. And as and same as Takanuva, uh, Apatoran headpiece, but just in yellow. Although would have been nicer in uh, orange to represent prior one, but probably wanted to make it a little different than the other versions. And the mask, same as from the original Toa Mata versions, as you can see. But a little more elongated, and also with a plus hole in it, rod in it, rather than a stunt version. And does it fit on uh, Metru heads? Uh, just slightly, but it's more meant for Avatar and heads like this. And also, his gold piece is another version of it, but in gold. Which add to that, and it's also nice to have. And as for comparisons of him, is with the original Toa Matata, who is as you see, so it's basically him back into Toa Mata version. And he, of course, was to be back to that form for the golden armor to fit him. And of course, flame sword, more flamey and whatnot. And although it could have had the same hand piece for that, although it was probably out of print at the time, and at least the regular hands uh, work, work out just fine for him. And of course, did the comparison of the masks, which are quite dissimilar and all, although I think they could have the foot pieces, well, Avatar and foot pieces, in this red color, which also would have been good for mock making, but whatever. Like all these kind of missing some black that this original version had, but I can forgive it how it turned out. And now, comparison with the golden Tahu. That, and now, I did make. Did I get two of the set? Well, actually, I used all of the stars pieces and used them to make this with mocking pieces, and yeah. So, anyways. So, as you see, for the gold on him. Well, it does have some more gold. Well, same with the sword bit, armor, and mask. But although the regular version missing a shield, which is what the gold version has. But although the gold, although the Borak shield piece, reminiscent of that of Mysticata, who, of course, although I think the original version also could have had that in the silver color. Also, fit with more silver to him, but yeah. And of course, Golden Tahu, one of the collectibles of sets, and Golden Armor made him more powerful against the Rakshi, of course, and stood for the end of it all. And now, on to the final verdict. Overall, these I think a pretty good set, or quite cool, or quite good sets for the time. Even though it didn't get much like, of course, but although did get although the golden armor, like the golden masks, and also characters from over the years, which of course is what helped make the stars be well remembered and also 
give the conclusion to the whole storyline, of course. But also, anyways, aside from that, plenty of good uh, recolors of pieces, good for mocking, and of course, new version of the Kenohi Howl, which we haven't seen since 2001, but at least one thing I like about LEGO is uh, take old pieces and make them in different forms, and yeah, which they also did with uh, Rakshis and Paraka's uh, spines in this wave, of course. But also, uh, also good that Takanuba still had the light spear, of course, and yeah. And also good that they brought back the Mask of Light for him. And as for this being my last Bionicle Throwback Thursday, what's next? Well, hang on till next next Throwback Thursday for a kind of special one. And yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.